what voltage we've got, where a multimeter is, you've got to set it so you could make mistakes. We're also going to need a proving unit or some way of proving this on a known supply. Now, the two pole tester needs inspecting before we use it. So first of all, check and make sure there's no breaks in the cable. The actual device itself looks in good working order. And we touch the two ends together to make sure the battery is working. This isn't testing it's working, this is just testing the battery's okay. Then we can use our proving unit to be able to test that this is working. So we place our black lead onto the black mark, then the red one onto the red one. And as you can see, this is testing, we've got 230 volts. We can now go to our boiler and test that we have got safe isolation. Now we're finally ready to carry out this safe isolation or dead test. Now, because this is supplied via a plug top, what I like to do first is use my black lead onto the earth connection or the, earth, the screw or the plug top, which should be earth, then take this end and go onto the earth itself and make sure we do have continuity. So this is earthed even though we've pulled the plug completely out of the socket. Now the test itself, I'm going to go between my neutral and live to see if I've got any voltage. Neutral first and live. No voltage there. Then I'm going to go between my earth and live. Nothing there. And then I'm going to go between my earth and neutral. And there's nothing there. I'm now going to go between my earth and my two wires going to the actual stat itself to make sure I haven't got any stray voltage coming back from the controls. As you can see, there's nothing. But first of all, before I touch any of this, I need to make sure this is still working. Now, before we actually touch the wires on the boiler, we have to prove that this is still working and it hasn't broke from going from the boiler to the proving unit. So back black on, press them down, and you can see this is still working. So now it should be safe to be able to remove the wires so we can remove this boiler. So that's how you carry out the safe to touch and the safe isolation to gas safe technical bulletin 118A.